Chemical peels are ingredients that we apply to your skin for a specific amount of time in a controlled setting. These ingredients help exfoliate the superficial layers of your skin and treat pigmentation, acne, fine lines, etc. Now, which are these ingredients? These are uh, normally acids that we use in skincare. For example, glycolic acid, mandelic acid, lactic acid, salicylic acid, or even retinoids. All of these are ingredients that we normally use in the serums or the creams that we normally apply uh, to treat these very indications. But when we do a chemical peel, we use them in a much higher concentration again in a very controlled setting so it can penetrate deeper than just a cream wood and it can act much better and give you much faster results. Now what you can expect in a chemical peel? The first step is we clean your face and we degrease it. We then apply petroleum jelly on the sensitive areas of your face to protect them from damage from these acids. Then we apply the chemical peel. Now there's various types of chemical peels. The same concern of pigmentation may be treated by 20 different types of peels. So we have to choose the right peel for you. I would really recommend leave that to your dermatologist. Don't get involved in the process of choosing which peel is the right one for you. Uh, they will choose your peel and then they will apply a thin even layer to your entire face. Sometimes we do peels for specific areas, like for an area where you have more intense pigmentation, we'd apply it only there. Sometimes we layer the peels, sometimes we mix peels, all of these things are done. And then we apply the peel and leave it for a specific amount of time. After that period of time, we neutralize this peel. Most peels are neutralized by ice, as we've done in this procedure. Some peels, however, need specific neutralizing agents, which are then used according to the type of peel chosen. After the peel, what you can expect is a little bit of dryness. Not everyone sees peeling. A lot of people expect their skin to come off like a peel, but that is not at all what happens. You may just experience a little bit of dryness. Some people who are on uh, AHAs or who are using retinoids may see more significant scaling, but you do not have to see scaling for the peel to work. The peel works on a very microcellular level and you don't need to see that scaling. Post procedure, what you need to do is moisturize your skin really well, keep using sun protection, avoid direct sunlight and keep reapplying your sunscreen multiple times in the day. Also, you need to stop your actives for about four to five days post the peel till your skin uh, regenerates and then you can restart your actives. There are certain myths about chemical peels that I'd like to bust here that these are very dangerous, harmful chemicals. Now, this itself uh, is a myth because of the name chemical peels. But let me tell you that these chemicals are usually derived from natural sources. For example, glycolic acid is derived from sugarcane. Lactic acid is derived from milk. Mandelic acid is derived from almonds. So, uh, but would it help if you directly applied milk to your face? Probably not because the concentration in these natural sources is too low for it to have any difference on your skin. So we concentrate these ingredients from these natural sources themselves and then we use them in the form of chemical peels so that they actually work on your skin. Another thing I'd like to talk about is home-based peels. So home-based peels have been rapidly available in the market. Uh, there are two issues that I have with them. One is that their concentration isn't significant enough to work like a chemical peel that we use in clinic. Uh, and the second concern I have with them is that the concentration isn't low enough for it to be completely safe for home use. Very often somebody using actives at home may have a very sensitive skin already. And when you use strong actives like a chemical peel, even though it's a home-based peel, it may really irritate your skin, leave you with pigmentation, irritation and redness. So I really recommend do not try doing these things at home. Leave these complicated procedures to a dermatologist. You do not want to risk your skin, particularly on the face. Another myth about peels is that it worsens your acne. That wouldn't be true because we then wouldn't use peels to treat your acne. Uh, it is true, however, that there's something called purging. So right after a peel, for the first two weeks after the first peel, you may sometimes see a few more acne popping up. This is known as purging and this happens when you start any active, even if it's just a cream or it's just a serum. So this purging does happen and settles down in two weeks time. So it's nothing major to worry about. 
but uh, yes that purging can happen after a chemical peel for more information about chemical peels you can get in touch with us in the comment section itself or uh, you can uh, ask your questions there if you want to get a chemical peel done do drop in to dermamd clinics